Welcome to the garden, I'm Sean McManamy and today we're having a look at the uh, rough around type squirrel baffles. Uh, this is a metal one in this instance. So uh, there is a little bit of confusion when you get your kit because you get a clamp which doesn't seem to attach to the baffle and that is correct. You can, the reason it's got the split in it is so that you can retrofit it if you've got a bird table or feeders already attached or you've got one of the fancy decorative type feeders. So all we do is we take the clamp out and you screw it to your pole. And then the baffle itself, if you have a look, it's spring, it's spring loaded and it has a lip and a corresponding lip on each side of the cut. So this allows you, excuse me here, um, to slide the baffle around an existing pole and there is nothing subtle to the way that we attach it. You just force it against the spring loading and clamp in the two lips. And it is only meant to sit on top of that clamp so that if the screw jumps up and lands on it, it literally slides down. It is as simple as that in operation. So once more for you, you put your clamp on your leg or arm of your feeder, you take the baffle, wrap it round, you've got the lip on either side of the cut and then you just force it down, get the two lips to interlock, slide it into place. This one's years old and is a bit bent and crooked but still works absolutely effectively and then it sticks on top of the clamp and that is it and they're very effective against squirrels climbing up or jumping across and they slide off. There is no firm area for them. Um, and that is the wraparound squirrel baffle.